you are the Christ. This is who you are. Well, you know, uh, it, it establishes from there whenever he tells Jesus, well, this is who you are. So he answers the question, but it goes deeper than who do you say Jesus is. But now that we've established who Jesus is, well, Patrick, who do you say that you are? Now it's a reflection. Now it's like, all right. Jesus says, well, who am I to you? Well, you are the Christ. And then Jesus is going to look back at you and say, well, who are you then? So what is our response? What is our new identity? It's more than just a name. It's more than just getting up every day. Who are you? The Bible says if a man believes in his heart. That's what it says, right? So if we are in Christ, who are you? We are a huge threat to the devil. Because if he is now, he'll, worry, he'll do what he can to worry you out. Because if he could have killed you, he'd have killed you in a woman. But who are you? Who are you? It's like Jesus asked Simon Peter that. I can see him, I can see him asking all of us now. Who am I to you? And then when you answer him, who are you? Establish your identity. Today I truly believe in the Spirit. It's a new identity. Who are you? So then when you look at the mirror, do you see the Father? Who are you? You are a threat. You are a threat. Satan wouldn't be coming after you if he wasn't. He wouldn't be attacking families, friendships, churches, if they wasn't a threat. Burning the church down is nothing. Because we can have church outside. But who are you? He comes after the individual. He wants to wear you out. But who are you? We are threats. So understand our identity in Christ. Who are we? When we look in the mirror, when we pray, who are we? Today is an establishment of new identity. It's like God's wanting to refresh our mind. Hey, you know who I am. Now it's time to understand who you are. And we can't move forward unless we know who we are. We know Jesus. All right, now God's going to let you know exactly who you are, how you operate. After all, he's the one that created you. So why wouldn't he know? We are threats. Remember that today. We are threats. When Satan sees you, he's threatened by you. You remind him of his creator. And he don't like anything about it. He can't stand it. Every time he comes up and he approaches the families, it's always that one thing in his mind. So understand those threats come from, from the devil. These attacks are always going to come because you are a threat to everything that the, the, the Satan comes with. And to me, at, at this point, it's like, you know what? I'm obviously not seeing something that God's given me. Because I know who God is, but see, a lot of Christians right now are still stuck in bondage. They know God, but why are they still stuck in bondage? Why are they still stuck in the same circle and just keep going right around, expecting, you know, doing the same thing but one different result? Because you have established your identity in Christ. Not just establishing to know who Christ is, but who are we? Remember this today. We are threats when it comes to Satan. And that entire demonic force. You are not below him, you are above him. We are seated in heavenly places, as it says in the book. Today we are, God is refreshing our identities today. He said, well, you know, you put it, well, I climb up top. You know, like if you're on the internet browser, he's refreshing you today. Today is the day of refreshment. Because you, here's the thing, you never lost it. You can't lose it. So God's like, I'm going to refresh everybody today. And Lord, we thank him for that refreshment. Something that we can't lose. So if everybody will stand, we'll, we'll pray real quick. Lex, you come here pray with me? Come on, come on, you and you are pray with me. You just stand beside me, stand beside me, stand beside me. Come on. You prayed with me last time. You come through with me? Come on. There we go, there we go. All right, come on, come on, come on. You good? You good? All right, all right, all right. So, Lord, we thank you for the identity that you gave us, that we currently have now, and we receive the refreshment this morning from the Spirit. A, a newness in our eyes, Lord. A, 
Just Lord, we receive you this morning. Show us more than, we've, than what we've ever seen. That way we know more. Lord, we receive you this morning. Let's, let's let that spirit flow through the music and then through the word that this brought this morning. We thank you for that, for that refreshment, Lord. We thank you for our identity in you. We thank you for everything you've given us. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you, God, for this morning. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I know y'all see some strangers up here today. I want to introduce you to them. This lovely lady to my first right is Hannah. And the lovely lady next to her is Samantha. They're going to be joining us today. They're going to sing a little ditty with us today. So if anybody's happy to see some new faces and get ready to hear some new voices, can you give the Lord a hand clap? Y'all don't have to talk about how much y'all like me. I mean, they only here for one day. It's good that we get together to worship the Lord, amen. And it's good that no matter what, what part of uh, bodies the Lord leads you to, as long as you're walking in the spirit of truth, you can always reunite back together and still be in the same spirit of love, amen. That's the good thing about anytime you leave a body, the Lord leads you to leave a body and you go to another body. And then you talk to the people from the last body and they're still mad at you, something's wrong, that ain't the Lord. But any time that you can leave a body and then reunite with somebody that, that, that you are currently worshiping with and then get back with them and still be right there in tune, that's the Lord. It's one spirit, y'all. That's all. The Lord's spirit ain't chopped up like the denominations of the church. That's because people couldn't agree on the same thing. The Lord's spirit is the Lord's spirit, and it's the spirit of oneness. Amen. And why he would even see fit to bestow that upon us. It's beyond me, but I thank you for it. It's good to see everybody here today. Good to see the ones who ain't made it yet, but I know they'll be here in about 15 minutes. Good to see my mom in the house of the Lord today. And now I'm caught in a rock and hard place because everybody sees that she ain't black like I've been saying she is. <laughs> If you come to worship the Lord today and you don't care what your neighbor thinks about how you do it, just lift your hands and just tell the Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you that we in your house today, God. Thank you, Father, that we're here to, to press through, Lord. We dropped off all the baggage, Lord, at the baggage check-in on our way in, Father. We're just here to lift the name of Jesus Christ, the name of Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, Lord. Lord the name that breaks every stronghold, Lord. The name that breaks every chain, Lord. The name that sets crooked places straight, Lord. The name that reunites. The name that rekindles. That's the name that we come to worship under today. None other name shall a man be saved except for the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for, for knowing you today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for you choosing us and for you calling us, Father. Just have you wait here with these people today, Lord. Because I know there's at least two here that want to come in the name of Jesus. And I know that you are surely in the midst today, Lord. And I thank you for that. I thank you, Lord, for walking the aisles of this building and the aisles of our hearts, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for walking the aisles of our minds, Father, and just getting all the rubbish out of the way, Lord. Making yourself a path because you are the way, Lord. You are the truth and you are the life, Father. We just lift your holy name today, Jesus, for who you are. Not for what you've done, but just because of who you are, Lord, we have come to worship you, Father. Hallelujah to the King. Can anybody say hallelujah to the King? Anybody say amen? Is anybody's spirit agreeable mind right now on, on who we come to worship? Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap. I just feel him in place. Yeah, we didn't come to sit on some y'all. We didn't come to sit here and be all quiet today. We come to lift the name above all names. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who overcome and overpowered and took the keys to death, hell, and the grave. I better let you sing about the creature.
one who makes all things new. You are our majesty. There are words for him that I don't have. You see, my brain has not yet reached the point where it can form a thought that can adequately describe the greatness of my God. And my lungs have not yet developed the ability to release a breath with enough agility to breathe out the greatness of His love. And my voice. <laughs> you see, my voice is so inhibited, inhibited, restrained by human limits that it's hard to even send the praise of it. You see, so if there are words for Him, and I don't know. Because my God, His grace is remarkable. His mercies are innumerable, strength impenetrable. He's honorable, accountable, favorable. He's unsearchable yet knowable. He's indefinable yet approachable. He's indescribable yet personal. He's beyond all comprehension, further than imagination. Constant through generations, King of every nation. But if there are words for Him, then I don't have. my words are few and in trying to capture the one true God using only my vocabulary that would never do but I use words I use words as an expression of worship to a Savior who is both worthy and deserving of my praise so I use words my heart extols the Lord blesses His name forever He has won my heart and captured my mind and has bound them together He has defeated me in rebellion, conquered me in sin. He has welcomed me in His presence, completely invited me in. He has made Himself an object of my sight, flooded me with His mercies in the morning and is drowning me with His grace every night. But if there are words for Him, then I don't have them. But what I do have is good news. For my God knew that man-made words would never do. That words are just a tool used to point to the truth so he sent his son Jesus Christ as a word of living proof. He is the image of the invisible God, firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, giving nothingness formation. And by his words he sustains the power of his name. For he is before all things and over all things he reigns. Holy is his name. So praise his name for his life. 
the way he preserved us in strife, the humble son of God become the perfect sacrifice. Praise his name for his death that he willingly stood in our place, that he lovingly endured the grave, that he battled our enemy, and that on the third day rose in victory. He's everything that was promised. Praise him as the risen king. Lift your voice and sing for one day he will return for us and we'll finally be united with our Savior for eternity. So it's not just words that I proclaim. For my words point to the Word. And the Word has a name. Hope has a name. Joy has a name. Peace has a name. Love has a name. And that name is Jesus Christ. So go and praise Him forever. Go and praise Him in this moment for all that He is. All that He's done. All that He's going to do. All of His promises are yes and amen. Everything He says is true. Never let us down. He is our King of kings and our Lord.
for a really intimate set of uh, hours. brought a wonder in this place today. Wondering if the Lord's going to do it for you. Wondering if you're able. Wondering if you're worthy. Wondering if you're loved. I would invite you right now to take advantage of this opportunity's intimate set with the Spirit of the living God. Just call out to Him. Call out to Him right where you are. And proclaim your concerns to Him. And watch Him touch you. Dream. 
never gonna make it today
God, we praise to keep going.
hands wide open, no one ain't gonna climb. Ain't gonna believe a lie no more. So say I'm gonna climb this mountain. My hands wide open, I'm gonna believe these lies no more. This is all about you. Being a part 